here on the screen you have observed William Shakespeare a great English dramatist who was born in 1564 and died in 1616 he is also called father of English drama who was the most prominent literary figure in Elizabethan period of English literature he was also a sonneteer he has written 154 sonnets. The great English dramas like Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth are still fresh to lead the English dramas. Among them, As You Like It is a pastoral comedy and All the World's Stage is a monologue by the character Melancholy Jacks in Act 2nd, Scene 6 of the play. In the drama, Jax is pessimistic, so his utterance is also pessimistic. He observes the dark side of the life. The poem divides human life into seven ages. The seven ages are infant, schoolboy, lover, soldier, judge, adult and old man. He says all the humans are characters to play different roles on the stage. They have their exits and entrances. An infant cries and vomits on mother's arm. Mother's nurtures, cares, soothes for the healthy life of the child. Without mother's or nurse's care, it is impossible to survive. Mother fulfills the demands. She changes her calories into nutrition for the baby. She supports to stand. The child can't differentiate what is good and what harms him. The poet presents school age as a boring age. The boy seems winning, complaining and he goes to school carrying heavy bag slowly as a snail. The third stage of man's life is lover. Lover praises beloved and even he can make the songs of beloved's eyes grow. He respires like a furnace. He becomes the devotee of his beloved and can do everything for her wish. The next stage is soldier. The soldier does not only mean for army man. It's a time for labor, work or profession. He has great courage to accomplish any work. He looks like Chita. He greets for honor, reputation and great respect. He can take risks for his reputation but does not want to lose it. He can stand in front of cannon. Dependence of own arms, creativity, dauntlessness are the characteristics of this age. The body structure suits for fastness and courage. This age can also be taken as the climax of bravery. The next stage is the stage of justice. He gets his acute vision developed for clear observation. Formal life, round valley, attractive costumes, serious on decision making, giving advice with modern instances, and experienced and balanced thoughts are fulfilled to heighten his personality. In the sixth stage, the man changes to be lean and covered in loose patloon. He has spectacles on the nose and muscles become loosened. The dress does not fit properly on the body. The voice becomes blur and blunt. Again, in the last stage, he loses his teeth, taste, vision and everything. At the last time, his habit and nature change like child.
He can't walk on his feet like child. He can't eat himself. He needs support. He can't throw the wastes properly. Is the child he has to be in complete nurture. He has to sleep all the time on bed like child. So it's the second childishness. So Shakespeare's comparison of human's life with the drama stage is apt and suitable. Here are some questions that concerns to this chapter. And the first question is, what's the theme of this poem? Man is the ultimate loser in the game of life is the theme of the poem. Man keeps on losing one quality and blessings while qualifying for another one. He comes to the world to play the role. He has brought nothing and taken nothing from the world. Everything is perishable. Life develops to the climax and it starts falling in the same way and at last. He gets the same quality when he was at first. Life is nothing except sheer loss. Though he may boast of the success and achievement he has got in his past life. If we observe the life seriously, life is nothing more than a shadow. The next important question is here. Why is the last stage called second childhood? Are first and last stages troubling stages? In the poem, the last stage is called second childhood. Childhood or infancy is the first stage and old age is the last one. In these first and last stages, man needs help, support for survival. In both stages, human is weak, feeble physically and mentally. In the old days, man loses sightness, auditory power and taste like the child. Man can't walk on their feet properly in the both stages. Man has to stay eight plays for long hours. Man easily forgets everything in the old days. Old man needs help to throw out the waste products like child. So both stages are troubling stages. The next important question is here. What simile and metaphor are used in the poem? Simile is a weak comparison that uses the words like or is to express a similarity between two things. On the other hand, metaphor is a strong comparison without using like or is. In the poem, man is compared with Leopold in the fourth stage. Then a soldier full of strands, oaths, and bearded like a fard. Like this, a schoolboy goes to school creeping like a snail. A schoolboy's movement is compared creeping like a snail. The winning schoolboy creeping is the comparison without using like or is. All the world's stays and all the men and women, merely players, are also direct comparison without using like or is. So, they are metaphors. 